Hey guys, Sarah here, and I'm back with episode 12 of my Final Fantasy 14 online series. And finally, daylight has broken. The sun is out. Got some sunshine. <laughs> We're gonna continue on with our main scenario quests, which is Don't Look Down with Osha Jab. So, Osha Jab, a wood whaler at the matron's let. Now I need to know Lethi Lethi Anyway Osha Jab, a wood whaler at the matron's Lethi is looking for a sure footed adventurer to pluck blue trumpets from the root of a nearby heaven's pillar. Accept Ho oh there adventurer, you seem light on your feet. Fancy a quick skip along the root of the heaven's pillar here. I need someone to pluck off a blue trumpet or two. You know what? Uh, I know what you're thinking. It's not more than a mushroom. So why the commotion? I'll tell you why. You allow that fungal menace to multiply and within a moon they'll be covering the whole damn root and rotting the whole... and rotting the wood clear through. Just watch your step while you're up there though. The dire mites on the ground won't waste time. <laughs> won't waste any time adding insult to falling injuries. Once you're done, head up the top end of the route and report to Theodore. He'll be glad to hear someone's taking care of his one taking care of one of his more dreaded chores. So we've got to climb this huge tree and I can see the blue trumpets already. So let's do that. Four she said. There's two on that side, so I'm guessing there's two on another side. And I just have to be careful not to fall. Uh, one. Let's walk along here. Two. Thank god these wasps aren't like the aggressive type because I generally don't even like wasps. Not that anyone would like a wasp but and now imagine if they were chasing after you while you're trying to get something done. Try not to fall here. <laughs> oh gosh. So where's the final? Oh, I see it. No, I need to walk along here. Oh my gosh. Wow, I almost literally fell into a pit full of scorpions. <laughs> she wasn't joking about that fall and then falling into Yikes, that was an experience. And I think I even lost some health. Dang it. So now I need to find a better way of getting that blue trumpet. So I'm not gonna. Let me see if I uh, can drop down from here. Oh, I'm in luck. So, got all the blue trumpets. Now we need to not fall off the tree again and get back, go up rather.
I can understand why Theodore wouldn't want to do this. Oh, you've cleared the root of blue trumpets. Wonderful. To be quite honest, I have this teeny tiny problem with heights. No, this is not my ideal posting, but we all do but we all do what we must. Keeping the route passable why did I say passable like that? Keeping the route passable is an important job, you see. It's one of the few ways folk can traverse the central shroud since the calamity all but split the area in twain. It is not perhaps the easiest pathway to walk, but there are those who believe the will of the matron herself caused this tendril of a heaven's pillar to remain thus suspended, that it might serve the forest people. I'm rather fond of the notion myself. So that is complete. And we have another quest in the grim darkness of the forest. That doesn't sound promising. Theodore is looking for an adventurer to deliver a message. It is, regrettably, my duty to stand watch over the road from here to Bent Branch Meadows. The ranch has become a veritable institution of Gridania, so any threats to its continued operation are taken quite seriously by the woodwalers. Which reminds me, mayhap it was my imagination, but I believe I caught a glimpse of some shadowy fellow not too long ago. Would you mind passing word to Rosalind down below? I would go myself, but, well, it's hard enough marshalling the courage to walk the route for my shift. <laughs> Poor guy. So down we go. Whoa. Oh, a horse. Uh, I think I definitely want a horse mount. One I can get one eventually. I wonder when I can get one. A shadowy fellow. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I may have seen something. I dismissed it as a trick of the light before, but I thought I saw a shadow in the forest to the north. Still, I suspect it's nothing more than a quick horn thief on the run. If you must sate your curiosity, by all means investigate. Should you actually find something of note, I would very much like, very much like, where's the like, Sarah? Where is the like? I would like very much to see it. So search for sign, signs of the shadowy figure. I don't know why I trip over my words so much. Like, this is a problem. So it, it's that away. And there's a bunch of scorpions. So this is gonna be fun. Well, just not paying attention to the stairs or anything. So, how do I do this? Approach from behind. Or. Sneaking. And. Oh, almost went the wrong way. I'm leaving. See? That was quite uneventful. Which is good. Oh, this person's character is so tall. Have you found something? Yep. Remnants of a campfire and a forgotten bag. This could belong to any adventurer or traveller. 
and inside we have a chocobo grooming brush and rosling oil mm. but wait why would a traveler make camp here when it would be far safer to beg the hospitality of bent branch meadows bugger me i think this belongs to that stranger said to be meddling with the chocobos thank you adventurer we have been lax in our duties but no longer i swear we will find the shadow so I'm going to choose the hard leather hunting belt or the leather sachet belt. Let's get this one. Quest is complete. And before we go any further, let me do this. Oh. oh gosh. Oh lord. This mi mix match of colors and equipment is just. It's too much for me to take, man. Look at those trousers. And the shoes. My gosh. At least the bow's nice. So, threat level elevated is the next one. Rosalind would like you to warn other sentries of the stranger's activities. We cannot allow other sentries to dismiss. We cannot allow other sentries to dismiss similar sightings. They must know what we have learned. To that end, I have prepared this letter containing everything we know about our mysterious stranger. I need you to share it to my comrades throughout the shroud. Once each sentry has committed the details to memory, have them write their name at the bottom for confirmation. Start with Elmer at the Bannock, then find Bernard at the eastern gates of Bent Branch Meadows. They ought to relay the information to others. Finally, make sure Egar sees the letter. He stands watch within the stables, so if the stranger's aim is to harm the chocobos, Elgar may have to personally put an end to it. Right, sounds pretty serious. So first we need to find Alma. And he's all the way over in the Jade at Thick. So let's take the path around. So here is Alma. You don't look like you're here for training. I'm not. A shadowy figure. Understood. I'll pass word to the recruits as well as the sentries. Let me just make my mark. There. That should do. If you follow the road south, you find Bernard by the bridge to Bent Branch. Godspeed, adventurer. Why, thank you. He said south and I just faced north, so... Let's -a go this way. You know, I just realized I've been pronouncing Jadeite as Jadeite. And yeah. So I'm here with Bernard. You have business with me, adventurer? Yep. Rosalind is right to be cautious. For this stranger to venture so close yet go to such great lengths to remain undetected is highly suspicious. They clearly have designs on Bent Branch. We appreciate the help. Should I write my name here? Yes. And here, take it. You'll find Elgar in the stables past the Erythrite. See you. We now need to go to the Chocobo stables. So we've got Elgar. Mind the birds adventurer, they get nervous around strangers. So here you go. What's this? A shadowy stranger near Matron's Lithy. You've already shown this to Bernard and Elmer. I see. Good good. Then all that's left is to inform the staff here. Not everyone is here is a wood dweller, true. But even our stable boys wouldn't hesitate to take up arms to defend these chocobos. Nice. Gonna get these hard leather sandals. 
Oh wow, I leveled up and I completed the quest. And I got a new action, Blood Letter. Delivers an attack with a potency of 150. Mm. Okay. I'm going to end the video right here before I move on any further. If you've been watching, thanks for watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe. I really hope you're enjoying this because I'm starting to enjoy these right now. And I will see you on the next episode. Bye! Thank you.